Here is part two. This is going to be the first boot up. It's got a glossy widescreen, so you can see me high. Um, I did notice there's no HDD LED. That kind of bothers me a lot. I like a lot, a lot. I hope they use a Western Digital hard drive inside. It's a 320 gig SATA. Starting windows. Setup is preparing your computer for first use. It's got Windows 7, 64 bit, no HDD LED, which bothers me a lot, like I said. Intel Pentium, what was it? T4400, 2.2 gigahertz, 1, 1 megabit of cache. That's what my friend calls it. I call it cash. It's an energy star saver. I'm go ahead and remove some of these stickers. Awesome, left a sticky residue. That's awesome. Good job, Energy Star. Left a sticky residue. That's not cool. That's not cool. Alright. Country reason United States, English, keyboard, yes. US. Next. Type a username. Charlie. I guess I, I want to put my last name, but oh well. I'll go ahead and put my last name. Password. Oh, so you have to put a required password hint, huh? Done set up my account. I accept, of course. Blah blah yah yah yadi yadi. Next. Use recommended settings. I'll go ahead and sync that later. U.S. and Canada. It's got it. Central Daylight Time. It's got it. Next. Trans network, yes. I have a hidden wireless network on right now. This is the only one that's visible, so. Next. Home network. How are these batteries on the camcorder low? I just changed them. They're rechargeable batteries. I changed them before I 
unbox this. This camcorder is kind of glitchy. I threw away the stock battery pack a while back. Because it kept saying charging is too hot or charging pause because battery pack is too hot or something. This is a Flip Ultra HD. Something that they didn't me mention on the specs was the DVD drive. It has RW rewritable. They didn't mention that on the main part. This is going to take a while. But, like, they use good parts and they use cheap parts. That's what Dell is. And they put them in, like, one cheap plastic chassis. It doesn't have gigabit Ethernet. It doesn't have wireless in. Um... And I noticed you have to press the function button to F1, F2, F3, F4. It, it's never been like that, ever, on any of our laptops. This one's reversed, so you have all your main volume switches and all that. And then, F1, F2, you have to press the function to do that. But once again, this is, our fir this is my first laptop. We've had laptops in the past. And it's the first laptop with 4 gigs of RAM. And wh what was it? It's the first dual core we ever owned. We've ever owned. So that's pretty nice. There's no. HDD LED that really really bothers me. I can't say it enough. That's like a Dell mini card to put stuff in. Seriously, there's no PCMI CA that bothers me. I said that's like my fifth time saying it. And the Ethernet is just standard. It doesn't have LEDs like a activity and a connection LED. At least one is nice for activity, but nope. They didn't include that. About time. Does it have hidden music like Windows XP? <laughs> Be funny if it did. Hmm. What about the service tag? Ongoing base or storage servers? I don't know about that. What is that? I've never used Windows Vista or 7 before, so... Oh, JU check, I guess. Finish. Command prompt. Whatever it's doing. The base model of this laptop had a WLED, a white LED display. I heard white LEDs aren't necessarily as efficient as CCFLs, which is what this has. There's only a power LED that bothers me. That looks like it's been rubberized. Like melted. Command prompt again. The fan is loud. The standard setup, like Windows XP or something. Oh no, sticky residue again. Oh.
this video is 10 minutes, so 